Wow, y'all. Forest River with this Riverstone Legacy really knocked it out the park. The kitchen and bathroom in here is unbelievable. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I am here at the Tampa RV Show. Now this show here, what's the dates right now? It's the first day of the show that I'm here filming. It's uh, January 17th, so that is Wednesday, and then it will run through Sunday. Uh, so I don't know when I'll get this video uploaded exactly. It might be after the show's already over, but this is the event that I'm here filming at. Now this Riverstone Legacy is a 421. FK, and I've never seen this floor plan before, so I'm thinking this is something that is new from Riverstone. Um, mostly new in how they did the bathroom design, which we'll see when we go inside. But just want to give you a quick look on the outside. This Riverstone Legacy is definitely one of the highest quality fifth wheel RVs that you can purchase at an RV dealership. Really to go up another tier in quality from what this is, you'd be looking at getting something custom from a company like New Horizons or Lux or Spacecraft something like that. So as far as what you can find at a dealership, it's about as good as it gets. Um, you have the rear storage tray out the back. I can just tell by how thick this door is. Really good quality insulation there. This is really heavy, this door. And then you have pull out sliding tray on the back, brake reverse lights, all this storage space down through here. You're gonna have nice details as well, like a water manifold system, which we'll take a look at when we come back outside. Goodyear tires here. A road armor suspension system, you have your TV outside, but we're going to go ahead and hop inside. And of course, this is all full body paint as well. But we're going to go hop inside real quick, take a look at what the inside has to offer, then we'll come back outside. Real quick, there's an important upgrade to your RV that I think you need to know about that can be really simple, and that is upgrading the mattresses in your RV. This is something that almost everybody does. An RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding makes it incredibly simple no matter what size mattresses you have inside of your RV. First of all, take a look at this here. This is a sixty to $70,000 fifth wheel RV, and this is the pathetic mattress that it comes with standard. This is why most people upgrade them. And again, no matter what size, RV you have or what size beds inside your RV you have, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding makes it really simple to upgrade your mattress. They will deliver the mattresses in a box to your home and they are all made in Arizona. And the reason that they wanted me to let you know about this now is because not only at any point in time throughout the year can you get 25% off your next mattress order using the discount code MILES, you also currently can get 30% off your next mattress order here in February. So that is something that I want to make sure you know about so you can take advantage of if you've been waiting to upgrade the mattress in your RV or if you just got a new RV and are looking to upgrade the mattresses. My family here, they got this Aurora Lux mattress and it has been a huge game changer in their camping experience, giving them a much more home-like experience with their RV on the road and it has significantly improved their sleep. They have not stopped telling me how much they love this mattress. So I encourage you to go check it out. Go to rvmattress.com, use the discount code MILES and take advantage of these discounts to upgrade the mattress in your RV. So as we hop inside, again, this is the 421 FK. These models are now coming with the Moride safety rail and it does have the solid step here that is strut assisted. So it'll be weight assisted going up into the door when you load it up there. And as we come inside, take a look at this front kitchen there. And I'm just gonna kind of give you a whole sweep around so you can really just take a look at everything. And let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what thoughts come to mind right away as far as just the overall look and aesthetic. I mean, look at the ceiling fan up there too. Nice looking ceiling fan. We're gonna start with going up into the kitchen though, but stay tuned because the bathroom is really what is most impressive about this new model here. So you have this island kitchen, gonna have the four burner stove in the middle in the island has like a range hood kind of look here with the max air vent fan up in that space there. Looks really nice. Nice how the lighting comes down directly on top of that island. And then to the right of the island, you have your microwave here and all this storage down underneath here. Now this is all solid wood as far as the construction goes there. Soft clothes on those, spot for your trash can. Soft clothes on that as well. Then open this up and okay, so they've gone to solid wood in here, but they're not using a dovetail construction, but this is solid wood here in the cabinetry. So glad to see that at least, glad it's not like a pressed wood in there that we're seeing. Soft close on those and you can see all these drawers here that you have for storage. Tire pressure monitoring system. Window on this side, on your campsite, there's also lights in here that should be on. 
nice Samsung microwave. This is also looking like it's going to, yeah, it'll have an air fryer function on it as well. They do have it taped shut, but that will have an air fryer function on it. Then you have your refrigerator off the back wall. Really nice looking lighting there with LED lights up in the ceiling. And then you have real tile backsplash here behind there on both sides. So you're gonna have that storage on both sides and the countertop space on both sides of your refrigerator. See down underneath here, ooh. This is why I open stuff, y'all, because got some pull-out drawers there. That's nice. I was expecting to see shelving. So you have that magnet latches to hold all these doors shut while you're going down the road. Nice Samsung residential refrigerator. And then same thing on this side. Then you get to this side and you have a dishwasher already installed. So you get the dishwasher, you have a pull-out drawer up above that and nice countertop space around the sink. Plus the sink is kind of in an area where you can at least turn your head, see everything else going on in the fifth wheel, see the TV, things like that. Underneath the sink, flip down spot for some sponges and then storage down underneath here as well. Pretty interesting in this kitchen, they basically did opposing slide outs in this area. So slide out on this side and slide out on this side. One of the few front kitchen fifth wheels that will have opposing slide outs allowing for an island in the front kitchen, which they decided to go with the stove here. So this is your insignia four burner stove and oven. You got storage on both sides, some pull out drawers there. And on this side, a top pull out drawer up high and then open storage here. So you can still fit like some cookie sheets and stuff like that in there. Of course, this is gonna have the nice big oven, plenty of space in there to cook things like pizzas, turkeys, whatever you may wanna throw in that space. And then you're going to have this little eating area. So because there's no real like designated dining table, this is where you kind of have a spot to sit down and eat and enjoy a meal. Outlets and USB ports right there with a USB type C connection. And then I did also just notice they also have this slot right here, which is a great spot for cookie sheets, cutting boards, things like that. And it does also come with sink covers that are in that area. All of your windows are gonna have a pull down day shade and a pull down night shade. Plus your windows are all wood framed out. So it has a very residential look. Definitely feels very high end. Um, with my shoes on right now, I'm about 6'3", and the ceiling height in here is probably about 6'7", maybe 6'8", probably about 6'7", I would say. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, chairs look pretty nice. Again, the ceiling fan looks nice here too, plus you have like the wood beam that goes across there that looks really nice, gives it that residential look. And then to the left of the staircase here, you have your touchscreen controls. So you'll have all your controls here for everything on the fifth wheel, and then also have a coat hook here as well. Oh, and I just turned on the fan somehow, but the fan's now on. <laughs> then we're gonna walk down this way and you come into the living room space. Really, really nice. This is a, this looks like this has gotta be a 65 inch screen TV. So that is a huge TV. It's definitely bigger than 50 inches. It's gotta be. So I'm gonna say that's probably a 65 inch screen TV. You have a sound bar built in here. Looks like some hidden storage back underneath here. Oh, that just keeps all your outlets and everything nicely confined back there so you don't see it. Love that. Got your fireplace here. Again, sofa makes out into a bed there. And then you have the windows all the way around, storage up above, and two recliners here directly across from the TV. And then this here is really interesting because they're giving you a desk space. They could have also put a sofa here, but you get a desk, which I think most people will appreciate. You let me know your thoughts. But look at all the storage around this desk as well. Really well done. Even like the hole cut through here for the wiring, they make sure to give you a little rubber sleeve there so it can keep everything nice and concise. You got pull out drawers here. So two smaller ones and then one larger one. No carpet in the slide out. So you can see that there is like a PVC woven material. And then it looks like this is the same storage here on this side as well. I really like the color on the desk that they went with and then storage up above here. It looks like this is all open and unobstructed all the way through. The lights in this fifth wheel sit flush with the ceiling. So those look really nice as well. That's consistent throughout this whole fifth wheel. Um, ACs in here, it's gonna have three ACs, but they're all whisper quiet ACs essentially. So the AC is actually up in the attic and you don't see it anywhere in here. These rectangles are the return airs for the ACs, but they are up in the attic. So you don't hear them nearly as much. Really big space in here overall, definitely can entertain in this area. And then as we go up into the bathroom, this is where they really outdid themselves. You got some storage here. And this storage is not where they really outdid themselves. It's the bathroom. I just, you know, I started talking ahead of myself 
and then I have to backtrack what I'm saying. Got a pull out drawer here as well for some storage. Motion activated lights here to the left for when it's dark, you'll be able to see what you're doing. And then check this out, y'all. A dual vanity setup in here with an absolutely massive mirror. Here in this bathroom, you have corner faucets there on each side. So really interesting look, giving you some huge sinks in this bathroom. That's a residential elongated toilet there. So the size of a residential toilet is a foot flush toilet still, but it's like the size of a elongated residential toilet. Multiple different spots to hang towels. You got basically your medicine cabinets built into these walls here and they're almost like recessed into the walls. You can see this other one here as well that you have right there. And then more storage here, down through here. And, ooh, that's nice, a little hamper area as well. And then in the shower, this is a really large shower. You can see how much space is in here. Plenty of room to do your thing in this space. And let me see if I can, actually, we're just gonna kinda step foot in here a little bit. Yeah, ceiling height in here is great because the skylight is so tall. You could probably be about at least 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and comfortably fit in there. You can see how big that skylight is. And me being 6'3", with my boots on, I, my head wasn't even close to hitting here. So this is probably at least about 6'5", or so, to right there. Adjustable height on the shower head. You do have the flip down bench as well. And this here is, I think, I don't know what this material is, but it feels pretty solid. It's not like a stone though, that's for sure. Um, and then I like how the way the water just runs down into the drain right underneath here. So that's that nice look. Spot to hang towels. You got the Max Air vent fan in here as well. And then the lighting in here in general just looks really good. Having the backlit mirror in there looks really nice. All your storage down underneath here, lots of pull-out drawers. So lots of storage down underneath here. The bottom drawers are a little bit bigger than the other two. And then you have storage underneath the sink as well. And then of course, this is all solid surface countertops as well. So go back this way to the bedroom. You're gonna have opposing slide outs in the bedroom. So the slide out here, it's like a little mini slide. And then you have slide out here for the bed. And then that is a king size bed. This looks like it is going to be a really thick mattress here. Oh yeah, this is the autograph series from Jameson Bedding. So that looks like that is a pretty nice mattress there that they're going with. Let's see, I'm gonna get my knee up on it. Oh yeah, pretty decent there. You may not actually feel the need to upgrade that. And then as you look back here, really nice looking headboard, two lights, one above each individual, windows on both sides that are framed out. It'll come with all the pillows and bedding. This here, this looks like this is some sort of heat, I'm guessing. I haven't seen this before. So this is a little different. If you have like detailed information about this, let me know. It looks like it has a fan and it looks like it's some sort of heating element, I would imagine. Outlets USB ports here with the USB type C connection. And then you do a little storage on this side of the bed down there with a couple shelves as well. Come this way, washer and dryer already installed in this fifth wheel as well. And a lot of y'all say, you know, oh, for these, a lot of these RVs at the price points they're at, they should have a washer dryer installed. They should have a dishwasher installed. Riverstone is really one of the only few that's going to have both of those things standard. And some of the other brands, they choose not to go with that to keep the price point down a little bit. And also some people just may not want that stuff. So they don't force people to pay for it if they don't want it. But with Riverstone, it's, I don't know how much of their market that they actually sell RVs to live in them full time, but I would imagine it's probably more than 50%. You have the Travelfy Wi-Fi setup already installed in here. And then you have your clothing rod across there, motion activated lights, shelf up above here as well. Hamper and three pullout drawers here in this space. And all the drawers throughout this entire fifth wheel are all motion act, or I'm um, sorry, soft close. Um, you have same storage down underneath here, outlets, USB ports. And ceiling height in here is pretty good. It's gotta be about six, seven, six, eight. TV already installed in the bedroom. One of the bigger TVs you're gonna find in a bedroom as well. Window on your campsite. Three pullout drawers here. Again, third drawer is just a little bit bigger. Storage space through here. And then that'll go across there. So this is your bedroom. You can see you have some controls here for the lights. And that is just about everything in this space. So that is the inside of this new Riverstone 421 FK. Definitely curious your thoughts on what you think about the inside. Let's go look at the outside and look at some of what the outside has to offer for y'all that wanna see some of the technical stuff. Um, as far as I remember, Riverstone Legacy is going to have a three inch thick sidewall. 
Really nice looking front cap here. It does have the diffusers on those lights, so it's gonna have more of a glowing effect, kind of look like a light beam up there. Really big front cap here, definitely bigger than most other fifth wheel RVs. So this is a very large, heavy fifth wheel. And in fact, let's get the exact specs real quick. Because this thing here is dry weight, 18,492 pounds. It is an absolute beast. Definitely gonna need like a one ton to pull this thing. It's exactly 45 feet in length and has a cargo carrying capacity of 5,352 pounds. So very impressive there. Coming down underneath here, hopefully this is where, yep, your water manifold system is. So you can see this. This is going to give you individual shutoff valves for all of your different water lines that you'll have in this fifth wheel RV. And then here you have your um, inverter as well. So 1500 watt inverter. One thing that I would like to see, and I only point this out because Brinkley is doing it. Brinkley is using brass fittings on all their water lines here. Or as you can see on this Riverstone, it's all plastic fittings for those elbow joints in the water lines, which it'd just be nice to see that little extra step up. But I think Brinkley is literally the only fifth wheel that is doing that across the entire market, essentially. Um, one thing that is really nice on the quality though, is you have a steel frame through here. So instead of a loose, you have steel. So just really, really solid on the quality. Auto leveling controls, and then tuck down underneath here. This is, oh goodness, what is this? I should know what this is, but for some reason I don't. This looks like, I don't know if this is a motor for something. It looks like it's a motor for something. I wish I knew what that was for y'all, but if y'all know, it's a Dexter product. So if you know what that is, let me know. Oh, brake fluid. It looks like that's the controls for your electric brakes, maybe. Something like that. I don't know, I could be wrong. But then close this up, slam latch doors on that. And as we come back around this way, spot for batteries here, you can see your two batteries down in there. And then you can put two more here. They're on slide out trays, so that's a nice little touch as well. You can see what your insulation looks like back through these sidewalls so you have that foam insulation in there then down underneath here prep to add a generator looks like you have your hydraulic fluid and lines right there and then you come down along this way other touches that just make this riverstone look better is like your skirting comes all the way down and is paint matched all the way down along through the bottom which a lot of other fifth wheel rvs will not have you have your outdoor tv you do have a security camera up over the door so a nice touch there your awning actually has a metal cover over it, so your awning is protected when it is rolled up. That is another nice touch. And you can see there's slide toppers installed on some of these awnings as well that also have that little coiled up part there towards the sidewall is that metal is that it's gonna protect those when they are rolled up. TV, this is a smart TV as well that you have outside your fifth wheel. It will be under the awning. And then you're going to have these Goodyear tires here. One of the first fifth wheels I've seen going with these Goodyear Looks like they're gonna be like an H-rated tire or so. Yeah, F, G, maybe a G-rated tire. Might be a G-rated tire. Um, not sure though. It is a 215-75R 17.5. And no, it is an H-rated tire, there it is. So yeah, Goodyear H-rated tire. Have the road armor suspension down underneath here. And then it will have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above the enclosed underbelly and you will have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. Plus on Forest Rivers underbellies, they use these plastic panels underneath here. So this would mean that if you ever had to get under there to do maintenance, you don't have to cut a hole in anything or rip anything out. You just take the panel out for the area that needs to be addressed. Down through here, you have a storage space there. They give you these nice spots to hang different items through here. here. Trying to show you how these work here and they're knocked it out. You can move those around. Motion activated lights, you can just leave those on at all times. Six set up back here and then you have a sliding tray off the back. Right there. So that looks like that's about an eight foot long sliding tray or so. Ladder to get up onto the roof, backup camera, already has side cameras inside. Cam well, so this thing really is fully loaded. I'm sure there's solar up on the roof as well because there's a 1500 watt inverter. Um, I just don't have the ability to get up onto the roof at these shows. Frameless windows and you know what? I don't think, no, it is an insulated window. Yeah, so this is actually a dual pane insulated window on here as well. So really everything about this fifth wheel is like fully equipped to live in it full time if that's something that you wanna do. 
and it doesn't really get much better than this. So let me know what you think about this Riverstone front kitchen. Really curious your thoughts. Would love to hear your feedback on what you like, what you don't like. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.